Wow. My first live. Your first live? This is first my first live. This is, um, I think this is my first Facebook live too, actually. Wow. Being on camera. With each other. Thank oh, and you bought cookies. Yes. Chocolate, Ooh, chocolate chip careful. cookies. You wanna try them? Yes. Thank you. I don't Cheers think this is social to, distancing I know, approved, but. but no, we've been we have been social distancing <laughs> and in the house quarantine. And we're not we don't have it, thank God. Thank God, thank yeah, God, thank God. God. We can breathe. We give a try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They ain't from scratch, but hey, but it's warm. They hit the spot. <laughs> and to be out of the house is really cool. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining me for Sunday dinner. Thank you. You made a really bomb. It's very simple and rustic. <laughs> it was when she put it on my plate, my bowl. I'm like, what? And it's like some spaghetti. But I didn't know what some type of leaves on top of it. <laughs> but it was good. And then at the end, I was like, what is it? I was like, this basil, she said, it's collard greens. It was good. It was like sauteed. Yes. And... The pasta was el dente. It had like this white sauce. It was like spicy. It had all these different flavors going on in your mouth. Yes, 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 really yes, yes. And you know, it's crazy because um, I just told you with the recipe. You know, I wanted to make mm -hmm. you a truffle mushroom pasta, but I couldn't mm -hmm. because I didn't soak my cashews. So, <laughs> but anyways, I think it's time for us to. It was fancy though. Crack open in this bottle. So wow, we're going to yeah. be sipping the um, hot couture French bubbles. Here, Darius, I think you should do the honors. Do the honors. Happy Sunday, everybody. Oh, hold on. Oh, now don't. Oh. Ah! Man, why do I have to do this on camera? Though? <laughs> <laughs> My hands are slippery. That's what oh, it is. Hold yeah, on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. <laughs> excuses, excuses. I'm redeem myself. Popping bodies. bottles. Happy Sunday, guys. Ah! <laughs> now you got me all scared. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Uh, uh. Woo! <laughs> Here, let's pour it. How y'all doing out there? What you guys? Oh, Maria! Hey, hey Maria. Maria! Maria from California? Yeah. Well, now she's in um, you know, New York. Yeah, Maria. Hey, Maria. <laughs> nice to see you. Welcome to the East Coast. Thank you for joining us. So we just figured to have, you know, a nice little toast. Maria, get a glass so we can all toast together. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Happy Sunday, guys. Oh, this is good. I like this. And this goes perfect with the cookies, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you taste? What do you smell? Tell us, tell them about your um experience. It's a full bouquet. I don't know what I smell. I just know it's good. Okay, let's see. And it's not too dry. I do know that. It's not too, it's not too dry. It's not dry at all. Mm -hmm. It actually has um, a sweetness that goes perfect with the cookies. And the bubbles are small, so that means... Is it really expensive when the bubbles are, sm bubbles are small? I think when it bubbles nonstop. It's bubbling nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, what do you want to talk about? Okay, so um, we have our dinner, we have our drinks, we have our dessert. Um, so what you doing? Like, what have you been up to? Well, I've been in, I'm, we're in New York, so I'm, we're in Manhattan. Um, just quarantining, cooking. I have a routine. I found like, with, found out like with a routine, it makes the day go by mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I, I can keep, I can, you know, compartmentalize and do my work. I have my, my meditation. I do, um, you know, uh, I work out like. I read a lot. I watch a lot of documentaries. Yes, yes, yes. Check out that Hulu documentary on uh, the Toni Morrison documentary. Catch it. It's oh really yeah, good. I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm gonna have yeah. to check it out. So um, I just wanted to talk about Uncorking Culture because this is a new you know group I started, which kind of now is going to hopefully be something bigger than what I originally imagined. But I was inspired because I started a wine business. Cheers to that <laughs> entrepreneurship. So you can get all your wine, your champagne directly from me, delivered straight to your door. Um, and so, you know, right ahead of Mother's Day, I wanted to, you know, do a tasting. So on Wednesday, we're going to be doing a tasting with, um, you know, a tasting of John Legend's LVE Rosé mm. 2019. And so I'm excited about that because it'll allow me to bring my friends together on Facebook. Yes. But tell us, <laughs> how, how did you 
start this new endeavor? You you went over in Africa or something? Oh yeah, yeah. So I had a chance to um you know take a trip earlier this year, and um I was inspired being in South Africa at all the um vineyards that I was able to attend mm -hmm. and just that whole lifestyle of just like you know sitting back outside you know enjoying the the ambiance and sipping some you know mm -hmm. wine and champagne. Yeah, this is champagne, Maria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's actually sparkling wine, but same sentiment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, I mean, pretty much, you know, I, I want to show you guys some pictures, actually, because I feel like this might be a cool way to allow you guys to see. Oh, wow. Some of my experiences um, from. Oop, that's the wrong. Uh, let me stop screening. Let me see. All right. Here we go. There we go. All right. All right. Where are you guys? Where'd you drink him? We were, um, oh, it keeps doing that. Let's see. There we go. So, yeah, so this is us in um, South Africa in Cape Town, and we were drinking um, uh, Chardonnay, I believe, or Chenin Blanc, one of the two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, you know, I was with the ladies. It was a great time. We, you know, really enjoyed ourselves, and this, this kind of like c cultural exposure to like a black woman on business mm -hmm. allowed me to realize that we could get into the wine industry too. Mm -hmm. You know, we just gotta, um, you know, jump out there and do the things that we want to do mm -hmm. um, and make way waves for ourselves. And so the minute that that idea came into my mind, I come back, COVID hits, right? I don't have a job. So I'm like, how am I going to bring in some money? <laughs> Everybody's at home. Right. Why not? Exactly. And so, the wine and alcohol sales were through the roof. So I was like, this will be a great way for me to like get into the wine industry and make some side money. I saw one of our aunts, she was buying wine <laughs> by the caseload on Facebook. So I was like, well, she could be buying wine for me. Mm -hmm. And not mm -hmm. only that, but I can also help other people get into the business. And if you don't want to go to a liquor store, you want to go out. Deliver right to your door. Oh, look, there goes Crystal and Star. Hey guys, cheers. What's up? Cheers. We miss you. We miss LA. Those are LA friends. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Harlem. I'm so glad. I'm sorry I stole Andrew and from Antrim, you guys, but I'm so glad to be here. Woo, $433 million in wine sales in the past 30 days. Wow. Whoa, Maria, that's a wow. Okay, so how many what's the percentage that we trying to make with the hot couture's and uncorked in uh, culture. So this is pretty much what I want to do. I want to create a space for black culture, people of color to come together and enjoy wine and not in a unattainable way, right. but in a real way. And we could take the journey together to learn about wine. What's your favorite type? What's your, would you, you like a red or a white? What do you like? Well, I've been drinking a lot of um, Sauvignon Blancs lately mm -hmm. because I don't know, I just love the freshness of it. It makes, it reminds me of California. Mm, <laughs> California in the bottom. Yep. That's exactly in the rosé. So I'm really looking forward to the John Legend tasting on Wednesday because wow, I didn't know John Legend had wine. John's doing it. Oh, whoever John Legend agents are, they be hooking a brother up. It's called the Legend Vineyard Exclusive, and oh. it's actually a part of our selection, a part of um, the Bose collection. I would love to sample that. Absolutely. So Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm gonna be there. What y'all <laughs> cook today, Maria? What y'all cook? Star Crystal, what y'all cooked today? Ange made this really bomb pasta. I'm gonna keep talking about it with this kale. Who knew to put kale in pasta? Like, I didn't know, and it was like sauteed. Oh, okay, Pinot Noir and Champagne out. See, Ooh. classy, classy ratchet. <laughs> <You're stupid>. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so Stevens, collard greens, collard greens, collard greens. He said kale. Sorry, it was collard greens. See. <laughs> New California did it to me. I, I I fell in love with Kay in California. But no, collard greens she put in this pasta and yes. it was so delicious. good. It was delicious. Thank you guys. Oh, Crystal, had... what kind of pasta are you making? Oh, what you? Ooh, Ooh how Bacatini you pronounce that? Bacatini with pesto. Okay. Bacatini. I know I need to take lessons from you, Maria. Send me some pictures <laughs> and share some recipes. I wish we could have shown the pasta that you made. Guys, it looked really, it was, it blew my mind because it just looked like she threw some spaghetti. <laughs> That's pretty. It was literally like spaghetti, like she did spaghetti and, collard and, collard and collard greens. But I didn't know they were collard greens, but it had so many flavors going on. It was, flavorful, it was so yeah. flavorful. It was like, I, I haven't been to Italy yet, but 
I thought I was in a mafia coast. But that's because, you know, it's a little black American, you know, sprinkled in there with the collard green. So, you know, we had- That was a nice little- Oh, look, Ooh, hey, Carbonara, Dana. Crystal. Hey, Ooh, Dana. Carbonara. Mm, okay, fancy. Come get your play, Star. I see you. Shout out, Star. You know, the realtor in LA, if you're looking for a house, go visit Star Bowls. <laughs> I see you, Star, doing your thing out there. Okay, so we talked about what you're doing to spend your time during quarantine. What do you think your new normal is going to look like? Like, what do you think? When do you think New York is going to open? What do wow, you think that's a good question. the new normal is going to look like? like? I don't think I'm going to be on the train anytime soon. No train for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my new normal, nothing's going to really change. I mean, I don't know. You know, I work in the entertainment business. I don't know whether, whenever the first star decides to give their first interview and feel comfortable um, then I think it'll start to, you know, to pick up. But until then, I think we're just going to be doing everything via Zoom and in my house, which I like being at home. Yeah, your you know? home is your home is your abode. Yeah, your home is your your temple where you recharge, where you create. Have you been organizing? Have you been cleaning? Have you been doing I've things? Been cleaning. Projects. Well, since I work at home and I'm the cleaner, I'm the lunch I'm the lunch person. <laughs> you know, I do it all. I do the work. I. I, first of all, I appreciate all the people that used to do all that stuff for me at my job, even though I knew all of them anyway. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when you got to wash dishes, how many dishes have y'all washed so far? I mean, at least three times out the day. But I have a newfound respect. Like, but I love it. I love being at home. I love my house. I mean, I, I find solace there. So my new normal, I mean, is just going to be spending more time at home. But like I said, the routine helps me a lot. I get up, I meditate. Ooh. I walk the dog. I Oh, and I always... You guys should try this. I always talk about what I'm grateful for, you know. Yes. So what are you grateful for right now? My breath. Oh, this time with you, being out of the house. And Aww. yeah, it makes you appreciate family more this time. Yeah. So thank you, cuz. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I'm grateful for you to be here and I'm grateful for the people that's tuned in because. Yeah, vaccine will be needed before <laughs> anybody feels comfortable. Exactly, Maria. Yeah. And I just appreciate, you know, all my friends. Oh, yeah, Dana, ton of dishes. <laughs> ton of dishes, right? So I think for me, like I've been creating new, new routine. So I launched, you know, Uncorked and Cultured, bringing a community together to enjoy and talk about wine and hopefully created to expand more. You know, I want to I wanted to be able to be a place where I can also share my travel journey and um, talk about my lifestyle, the culture we all live in. What to what we can do to inspire each other to like, you know, get out of our own way, because I feel like that's something that I've been dealing with for quite some time. Yeah. And so I want to share that journey with everyone else. Um, I think this is a really good time for you to be getting into this business because I think what well, you said actually what the new normal is going to be. Yeah. I don't think everybody in Marie, you said this, they're not going to be comfortable with going out into the world when the world opens up back up. Georgia, please stay in the house. Atlanta, please stay in the house. Chicago, please stay in the house. Louisiana, New Orleans, please stay in the house. <laughs> um, but people are going to be spending a lot of time at home. So yep. people are not going to want to venture out. They want to, you know, they want to have wine or whatever they like to have fun That's with delivered in small intimate gatherings. So what a toast to you for being ahead of the game and getting into this business. Thank you. I appreciate that. That means so much, especially coming from you. <laughs> yes. So, we so got OK, yeah. John Legend's Wine Maria. So we're actually I'm actually doing my first virtual tasting this Wednesday. So I'm excited about it. It'll be my first time. So I just wanted to do a little test run. Get on camera, you know, test the technology out, um, you know, invite my cousin over so I could see him and share some wine with him, which is the Hawk Couture. And this is from? This is from my collect from, from the collection. Bose collection. How much does that bottle like that cost? Something like that. This is um, really good, by the way. It's typically like, I don't think it's no more than $20. Okay. And then if you become a, a wine society member, you get 20% off. So, nice. you know. And if you buy six bottles of wine, you get free shipping. So it's a win-win, depending on what you're looking for. So I'm looking forward to tasting John Legend's wine. I know some of the members of the group has been tasting it, um, and they spoke highly of it. I didn't know his nephew was a sommelier, though. That's news. So that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, it makes it's like sense. A family business, almost. Uh, Star wants to know, when can I get my, my bottle by then? Uh, she wants can I, Oh, can you get your bottle by then? Oof, probably not because well you're in california so it might it's going to ship to you a lot quicker um we can i'll give you a call after this and talk we can talk catch up talk i want to see you know the video of the baby because oh, yeah. i know she's getting so big <laughs> she's so cute and um you know and then we can catch up and i could help you um walk, walk you through it and everything like that but um so yeah so 
we got this new normal coming. I feel like, you know, I'm going to be at home. I, I only leave out the house one day out the week. Mm-hmm. Like, grocery shop. To go grocery shop. Yeah. Um, it was 78 degrees today in New York. Yeah. I didn't get outside not one minute. And I you know don't I'm going to regret tempted. it. You don't want to be I know, tempted. I know, I'm going to, I know I'm going to regret it because I need fresh air. I need to walk and move. But I do feel very comfortable at home. No, you have a vibe. She's a vibe. And she's creating a nice vibe in this place. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks to you. <laughs> yes. Because you know, you are a blessing. And I appreciate And you are it. a blessing and I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So happy Sunday, everyone. We don't ship to New Jersey, Maria, because of some of the laws with um the New Jersey. Certain states have um restrictions on shipments. So unfortunately, we do not ship to New Jersey. But I like I like what Crystal said too. She yeah. said that you know people this is gonna make people feel good staying at home. Mm-hmm. You know, having their wine come. Well, and, Crystal is the consummate hostess. Yes, so she is. When when we were living in LA, we we attended plenty of yes. hers. Crab, remember you had that crab feast? <laughs> that was so good, Crystal. We had that crab feast that time. Yeah, they've had epic parties and barbecues at their house. I, <sighs> yes. Okay, I see you, Anthony. Happy Sunday, Anthony. Happy Sunday, Anthony. I know, um, you know, a lot of you guys in LA. I'm missing you guys. I wish I would definitely w- rather be quarantined in LA. Like, I know, sun. yeah. But you know, I'm grateful for what I have, and and you, know, you have LA memories. <laughs> yes, that I'm going to be sharing. So please share with me because this is what's kept keeping me sane. Really, really connecting with you guys, seeing your posts, Crystal. You got to start sharing some of your home um, decorum. And your, you know, crafts and, you know, recipes and stuff with the group, because I know you will inspire a lot of us because you, you inspire me every day. So I love oh. you guys. Um, I think we're about to wrap, wrap it, it up. up. Yeah, let's do. Let's toast one more time. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Everyone have an amazing week. Uh, remember to, you know, stay in gratitude and have a glass of wine. It'll make everything better. Cheers. Yay.